The air is colder, the sun is setting earlier, winter is upon us. Lots of holiday cheer, but for some people it's not so cheerful, often dreading this time of year. News 10's Abby Kirk explains. It's the winter blues. They like to call it the hibernating bear syndrome. For Jerry Taylor, a professor at Ivy Tech. It can be life changing. For nearly 20 years, she suffered with seasonal affective disorder, or SAD for short. I just felt depressed. It's a type of depression that's related to changes in the season. It has to happen pretty much exclusively mm -hmm. in the winter. And as psychologist Tom Johnson explains, for most people, the symptoms start in the fall and continue into the winter months. I felt like I couldn't get up. Soaking up all of your energy. I had been stuck in the house for several days. Johnson says the reasons why people tend to struggle during the holidays are endless. Anything from the weather to losing a loved one can trigger you to feel in the dumps. I need light. For Taylor. I need sunlight. It's the gloomy weather that is the cause of her depression. Oh, there's no, there's no question. She can see a difference in her mood. I'm outside every second that I can be. I love to be outside. An expert's advice. See a physician, see a counselor, see a th therapist. Is to seek help. Don't suffer alone. See a doctor. To ease the pain and bring some comfort this holiday season. In Terre Haute, Abby Kirk, News 10. Johnson wants to point out that there is a difference between the seasonal blues and actual depression. He says this can be determined by the two week rule. If your symptoms last longer than two weeks, it may be something more serious.